I'm showing you my ghost orchid project that I'm working on. I've had these guys for, oh goodness, well, about three months now. They haven't really grown, but I had them in an aquarium and I moved a bed of fish into the aquarium and the food has traces of salt in it and orchids cannot handle any trace of salt. They die. Uh, also sap suckers were getting to them. So the salt weakened them and then the sap suckers moved in. So last night I took the whole thing apart. I got this board, the cork I had, I glued it onto the board. There's actually glass. It's glued onto in the back of it. And then I added uh, screws down here little tiny screws and then I added fishing line which entwined all the way up back down over up again uh, let's see the screws there down again and then uh, they're really tight on there so this holds the orchids now I, I had them stitched on now and then when I had ghost orchids before in the past I would glue them on and they didn't like that at all so these guys are neither stitched nor glued they are held on by fishing line and this is pretty strong fishing line so um, and I know the orchids they like to be misted but you don't want to move them around too much if you want them established you leave them alone now I'm hoping the cork works because I know that the trees these ghost orchids grow on are like almost the, the, the bark is almost as hard as rock. So I'm hoping that the cork will suffice. If not, then oh, I might have to get another batch if these die. But um, yes, I got my ghost orchids on eBay. I got a tub for about $130. And they were all clumped up. I had to gently separate them. Uh, this was about three months ago. And they're actually still alive, so they haven't died. This is my second batch. The first batch did okay for about a month, and then I had them in stagnant air. They died. So stagnant air, salt, uh, and exposure to too much sunlight will kill them, plus the sap suckers. Uh, so if you want to try to grow these, you know, you might have to customize your own board, but these need, like, ugh, so much care. They're very, very picky, picky plants. But, I, you know, I'm hoping that they'll, uh, they'll adapt to this. This is the first time they've had a lot of sunlight. A lot of sunlight. And right now, I'm in Houston area. So, Harris County, and it's like going to be 80 or 90 today, and they love that type of weather. Actually, between 75 to 85 is what they prefer, but these are not going to be in the sun, but they will be exposed to some intense heat today. Lots of humidity, so they'll be happy. Anyways, that's my video. If you have any comments, let me know. Any questions, I'll try and answer them. And this is just my best attempt to grow these guys uh, from the research I've done. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.